Honorable Malema. No, thanks. <clears throat> Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. I think that, uh, firstly, for, I don't know, you said the parliament legal advisors and all of that. She keeps on saying, this is not a DA motion, this is a, a parliament motion, and, and, and trying to sound um, technical and smart in favor of perhaps a preferred party, we may not know. But this is not a court of law, it's a parliamentary process. And, and it's constituted by politics. So don't come here with your neutra neutrality, pretentious neutrality, and create an impression that there are no politics behind that which we are dealing with here. There's nothing called parliament motion. There's no parliament sponsors any motion. It's political parties, it's members of parliament who sponsors motions, and then they become parliament resolutions. So your reputation of this becoming parliament motion, parliament motion, shows your biasness and your interest to see this matter through in favor of a certain political party that has sponsored this motion. It doesn't matter how many times you repeat it. It is a DA motion and get it in your head. It's a DA motion sponsored by a wife of one of the members of the committee here. Uh, and, and it's a fact, it's, a, it's your wife. Whether you are turning, whether you are sleeping, whether you are facing up, it's your wife that presented the motion in parliament. It's a fact. Whether it, you are conflicted or not, it's something that we can debate about it. But the fact of the matter is, your wife has sponsored this motion, and that's why you are vividly participating in it, because perhaps it's even part of the pillow talk, this motion. I don't know. But your eagerness and your in uncontrollable interest in this matter as an honorable madman, it shows that it goes beyond an innocent member of parliament, but a partner who's vividly participating in a motion that was sponsored by the wife. And you want to make sure that this motion is seen through in the best interest of your wife and enhancing her capacity and her image in society. So it, those are facts, whether you like them or not, it, it's a reality. So whether you must recuse yourself or not, it's not a committee resolution. It's a personal uh, uh, conscience that you and the chair uh, have actually responded to. Now that we are being taken to court, chair, it is now upon us as members of parliament to now, as members of this committee, to now on our own, seek legal advice on how do we navigate this? Because I've got no com uh, uh, confidence in your legal advisors and that legal uh, 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 parliament department because it is partisan and biased itself. So I will ask that we adjourn this matter and you allow us time to go and consult our own legal teams as well, as you continue yourself to explore a possible way out of this through the engagement with Public Protectors Legal Team. A very persuasive and comprehensive matter has been pre presented here, and um, a, 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 a case law has been referred to, different cases are being referred to. As a layman standing here, I can confidently say, like others have said, uh, let's dismiss this matter. I've got no such qualifications. Uh, I'm, 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 I don't have such qualifications to can confidently, without consulting my legal uh, experts on how do we get out of this one, say, no, let's dismiss it. If we don't carry a partisan mandate uh, that I've co already concluded to guillotine the public protector, we cannot object to the fact that a very comprehensive document has been presented before us by the legal team of the public protector. Give us an opportunity to go and make legal consultation and so that we can give a more informed input with regard to this matter. A new matter has been raised, Chair, that we will be in contempt of court if we proceed with this matter. I heard the Honorable a husband of the person who sponsored the motion saying we can't be intimidated and all of that. 
I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to be arrested yet. Zuma has been arrested for 15 months for contempt of court. And I must be told by people who are conflicted, who are accused of bias, who are accused of having uncontrollable interest on this matter, that I must proceed with this matter without consulting my legal uh, experts, uh, my legal team, uh, even when I'm told that there is a possibility of me being arrested. In this country, anything is possible. An eight-year-old man was sent to prison for 15 months for contempt of court. And a senior counsel comes here and says, if you guys proceed ignoring what we are telling you, you will be in contempt of court and you'll go to jail for a very long time. And I must trust the parliament legal advisors, the biased legal advisors of parliament who have lost so many cases. It's not only General Olomisa who has lost cases, who has won against them. We have won against them many times because of their incompetency. So I'm not going to take that uh, incompetent legal advice as the true reflection of what is going to happen. We are asking as the EFF that we be given an opportunity to consult on this matter, our legal experts, before we can continue to participate in this because we don't want to be arrested. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable uh, Malema. Um, I, I note you, I will come back to you. I now recognize Honorable Falangola. Honorable Falangola. is not there we'll come back honorable Kondwe. yeah hello chairperson uh, chairperson let me start by appreciating the legal advice from advocate ibrahim and allow me to use this opportunity to thank the head of legal services advocate abdikari and the rest of our team for supporting us um throughout these uh, proceedings. Um, their support has really, um, you know, enabled us um, to get this far. Um, Chair, I also agree with the um, advice from Advocate Ibrahim that um, in the absence of a court order or an interdict, no one and nothing should prevent us from carrying on with the business of this committee. Um, not even the threat of arrest or uh, of being found in contempt of court. Um, look, Advocate Mukobani will well within be, you know, will be well within her rights should she decide to proceed with this um, review um, of, of, of our proceedings. Um, she She's entitled to do so, but until such a time, a court says we must stop, let's carry on. Um, we are operating under very tight uh, time frames, given that we recently took a break between considering um, some of the recusal applications. And should we accede to this adjournment application, um, we would be failing in our duties and our responsibility as a committee.